Everybody, are you ready? Keita Sheku is teaching students how to play traditional Guinean instruments at the Dunia Arts Center in Matoto, Conakry. Some of these instruments are hundreds of years old. Keita is one of the few young people trying to make them popular. Many young people don't interest it in, in traditional because they hear everywhere hip-hop, uh, reggae music and many kind of that you know but me i love uh, every music but i'm in traditional because i don't want it to be lost i don't want it to be finished you know i want it to continue for generation to generation thousands of musicians have abandoned playing traditional music in guinea and the ancient dances that go along with it because years of dictatorship and military rule created so much poverty which made it impossible for many musicians to earn a living. Many left Guinea for other parts of West Africa. But democratic elections have just been held and people are hoping arts and culture will be a priority for the new government and attract tourists. Part of the problem facing artists here is that only a tiny percent of the national budget goes towards developing art and culture. Less than two percent. The state has so many other priorities in the area of health, water, electricity. What the state can do is never going to be enough, but it's not just a question of money. There are other factors, like the market for traditional music and culture. Over 50% of Guineans live in poverty and over 70% are illiterate. So many don't have the money to buy traditional music. But there's huge mineral wealth here and the economy is expected to grow by 5% next year, which will create some wealth. Cater is hoping some of that money will flow into developing traditional music so he can help more young people hold on to the art. I want to teach young people maybe who do, do, don't know this music and the story of this music. Uh, if I get somebody who can help me, that I'm very happy to meet with this person. Because uh, in Guinea, it's not easy. And hopefully, if more money does come into the art, some of the musicians who have left the country will return. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Conakry.